Well, I actually did a, yeah, it's the eye sensing. Uh, the, I mean, the IAF works. The IAF works really well. I mean, for a 110 millimeters f2 lens, it is quick. Quick shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Check out the discount link in the description box below. Okay, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> it is here. It is here. When I first pick it up, it's. Uh, I think the weight is manageable, imaginable. I mean, it's not super light. It's not super heavy. It is kind of like yeah, I can imagine it's this kind of. Well, it's a 110 millimeters f2. Come on. Of course, it's not going to be light. But it's really manageable. It's just, it's really just feels like using any other DSLR. Well, it's more like when you put, when using a DSLR, when using, a, for example, 85, 1.2, they are not, they are not fast. But this is a medium format, or as they say, they are now going to call this last format, as they say. If you look at the movie industry, it is pretty common to call large format. And GX100 is a camera being capable of 4K movie. So from now on, we will communicate it by calling large format instead of medium. Now let's look at. Oh, listen to that shutter sound. Really solid shutter sound. Of course, it's not going to be quiet. It's a, I mean, pretty medium format. I'm my my hand my hand is shaking now on the. Uh, supposed to be really light Acer NS2. Now look at the top, it's really interesting. There is this LCD screen and it just feels like a, it's like a bigger XH1 display. And of course it's customizable. But interesting too that is this movie still a multi selection dial. When you change it to movie, for example, oh, you have to press that release button. And you have this one display, of course. And just like, just like before, like a G-Shock watch. And wow, look at that. I can say this is interesting. I probably prefer um, actual physical dial, but this is, this is quite interesting. You can have the histogram. This is mad. This is. I think this is the largest histogram I've ever seen on any camera. Is it? I get. I think so. I like the button to change the display mode. It just next to the display. Makes sense. Now the back just next to your thumb. This is the AF drive mode. AFS, AFC menu. You have the dial here, of course. And just I like I mentioned, I really like the thumb rest on a lot of Fujifilm cameras. I don't know why don't other camera have a like huge from rest like this track menu just like I mean it's really similar to other Fujifilm cameras we've got the joystick here AE log menu yeah it's just like any other Fujifilm camera it's easy to use and look at that I love that kind of feels like a top of the gray DSLR but it's a medium format or large format, but they, as they say, is what we have been waiting for. Dual card slot, two SD card. You don't really, you don't have to get those expensive XQD card as well. Remote. On this side, we have my headphone jack, USB-C, HDMI, dedicated DC in plug. This is convenient. <laughs> And this place two batteries in, or one, if you only got one, one or two batteries. And hey, it got a flip screen. Flip up 90 degrees, flip down 45 degrees, and then, yeah. Oh, so you can't do selfie with this, but you can do this. The vertical whip is a little bit disappointing because usually, when you see the, uh, this kind of uh, vertical grip, you see this on flagship DSLR, and usually the vertical grip is as comfortable as the normal grip. But this one, there is a di big difference than the really comfortable normal grip. This is like, you think you're going to drop the camera any second. Well, maybe not, but it, 
definitely not as comfortable and especially like if you're trying to use the dark, the, the joystick is a little bit you feel like you're going to drop it when they release the gfx50 they have a two adapter you can buy and it works on this as well so with that two adapter can do this tilt it's a self explanatory so i have camera labs gordon gordon replaced his head with a camera <laughs> no face detection yet it could be the lighting condition and we are still using a prototype gfx but we got it to work and when it works it works really well <laughs> and now we are trying our continuous af in movie see can you shoot vlog with this <laughs> Is it working? It's working. Oh. It looks pretty good actually. Oh. Interesting. Now we can't, we probably can't get sample footage, but we can get sample footage from the screen. <laughs> kind of. Like, yeah. How about that? It's pretty close. Yeah, it's good. This, this is pretty close to it. Oh, got okay, so about this, and then put it into the movie. you can even customize oh. it. Also, you got separate yes, setting separate, for yes. steel and movie. Yes. And then you can go in there. You can have six blocks. Basically, here six blocks of information. You can customize what you want to display. Or how about eight of them? Or how about this and histogram here? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? And you can also customize it to black on white. I actually prefer it like this. What's more is water resistance called weather resistance and it has 5SX in body stabilization. We're also shooting 4K video with the with this medium format or as they say large format camera. It can shoot 4K, 10 bit internal, 420, but you can have HLG or F log. I love HLG, I love HLG shooting. And if you connect an um, external recorder with the HDMI cable, you can do 4K, 10 bit, 422. That's crazy enough for a full frame camera, but this is a fuller frame. It's a medium format, or as they say, large format. So that's it, my arm is killing me. Uh, this is the weight of my, <laughs> even my A7S2 is killing me, so yeah, that's it, that's it for the first look, first look of this GFX100, and I have to thank you again Squarespace for, so on, oh, I have to thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video, Square, Squarespace is a website that you can build website with, and it's a really good website to build website because it's easy to use, really easy to make professional looking websites and I have been using it for over 10 years now actually if you decide to sign up use this link squarespace.com slash blog to get 10% off from your first purchase and of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel so when I get to test the GFX 100 outside you can get the <coughs> notification I'm tired I have to go back to my hotel to edit this video as well, so yeah, I have to go. The video you are watching now, I have to edit it now. Yeah, thank you. Bye.